Hey, hey. Big shout out to all of you governor, uh, government workers who dodged the bullet. Mm. <laughs> the government didn't shut down. Y'all got about 45 more days. You know what tri- cracked me up about that? They be talking about, they be separating the government people that won't get paid into two groups. The one group that don't have to come to work, and then the other group, you still got to come to work. How in the hell are you going to tell somebody they still got to come to work <laughs> and they ain't getting paid? Well, if, if, if you are a loader of the dock, yeah, you got the, the, man, the, the material has to be loaded by hand. I don't give a damn what it got to be loaded by if you, <laughs> you ain't pay getting me. paid. They telling you up front, yeah. you ain't getting no check. Oh, uh, no, no. So, ain't nothing getting loaded then. But they this talking is a good about thing mandatory, about mandatory, you still got to come to work for certain jobs. Is you crazy? Yeah, but so, it's a good thing about the government. They're going to pay you later. You're going to get your money. They're going to pay me later. I'm going to get that. No, they're they going to get their money. They're from week, week to week. How the hell you going to get that this right. week? Right, exactly. No, nah, so I work for the government. So yeah. if they would have shut down, then I would have been off of work. But it's other people that they call Commission Corps. Right. So they like a, they, it's a branch of the military, but it's an unarmed branch of the military. But they always, it's a military branch, so it's like they consider the central where they, they payment come from a different... Well, yeah, right. to military I consider work that my check essential. <laughs> they can consider right. that job essential all, right, all the time. You don't tell me you can't quit a job? Yeah, but the thing is that sometimes they'll be, last time they closed, they closed two times because they worked for the government. Yeah. And both times you sit at home doing nothing. And then they pay you at the end of it. Right. Well, that's what you do anyway, uh, Wade Bob. No, I'm a hard worker. I save lives. I save lives. How long, is that, lives. Wait? How long <laughs> is that That wait for that check? How long is that? Three months? Two months? No, nine? the government pay like clockwork. Like, the government pay... No, no, the government shut down. They say you, if the government shut down... No, but as soon as they ain't reopen... Ain't going to be no checks till they, no, till they reopen. No, but as soon as they reopen... Yeah, when they reopen it, you get be, your Because, money. see, a lot of people don't know, that money's already been allocated to pay people for the year. Who don't so, know that? A lot of people don't know that, but they get their money back. And uh, matter of fact, the last time they did it was uh, when Barack Obama was in office I remember. in 2009 or 10. And we they only gave us half our check in the military. Man, my commanding officer was mad as hell. Like, what? But they paid us two weeks later when they brought the government back up. Luckily, it was only two weeks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, did they, they, like, they tell you how to I mean, ration? money good, but I'm just saying, how yeah. you supposed to operate yeah. in the meantime? What the hell do you mean? Right. I got to come to work if I'm a quote unquote. Right. Exactly. They tell you half your check. They tell you shoot half the rat. Don't shoot all the bullets because we can't afford to pay for all of it. <laughs> <laughs> just, just shoot hey, half. Hey, look, I was in the Navy. Look, if you out on that ship in the middle of the ocean, it don't matter anyway. You out in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. You gonna eat three times a day and sleep and take a shower. But man. why? And that's man, all man. they gotta give you. At least you got somebody to tell you what it is. Like when you when I work for the government, they be like, uh, watch the news. Nah. I'm like, watch the news. Mm. And every day I be watching at the wrong time. I yep. <laughs> like ice cube on boys in the hood. I be like, either they don't know. Right. You like, they don't show. You like R. Kelly going to jail. Don't... <laughs> you like R. Kelly going to jail. Oh, I'm supposed to be watching my job. <laughs> right. Well, they're going to just have to get into something else. But see, that, gov- that gov- them government pensions and that, that aftermath, that's what, that's what be luring people to the government job. <laughs> the thing that gets me, though, is in the last five years, we've had more threats of the government shutdown than we've ever had to many of you in, in U.S. history. And I just wonder, yeah. when can we all get back on the same page that we don't have to continue to face this? Um, you would think you would think it wouldn't be hard to understand that people need their money, and yeah. and prices have gone up, cost of living gone up since COVID, and not doing anything and stuff about it. So for them to shut down to me is just the dumbest answer in the world. Uh, you don't shut don't shut your uh, shut your child support down for a couple of months. Just saying, I, I'm trying to work some shit out. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, that exactly. work out exactly. Huh? Exactly. Shut your alimony down for a couple of months. Just say you know. Oh. The spouse gonna come see about you now. Yeah, yeah just, you know, <laughs> no, they gonna be at the courthouse yeah. protesting to my where my money at. Yeah, mm-hmm. but they you just know. shut the government down. Right. Which I've already explained it before. There's no way in hell it's impossible for the government to be broke. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like thirty y'all something print the trillion dollars in debt. That's just a number, man. Yeah, it's impossible because they print that money. For the government to ever be broke. 
when you pay income tax and outgo tax sales. Right. Yeah. Right. Which means ultimately all of the money ends up in the hand of the government. Right. The money when dollar change hands thirteen times, it ain't no more money. Right. There you go. Plus, they're making money Bike. from all the uh, imports from other countries, too. Yeah. And, and guess what? But they, they say, the government cannot what, be broke. What, what, what's crazy problem. about it, this is all public knowledge that this is going on, but nobody can stop it. It's public knowledge. They don't want to well, stop. Who's going to stop it? Stop. I'm saying, yeah, the powers that be. Stop well, if you want to stop it, they're going to make sure you. <laughs> I mean, I mean going to the upper everything, room. Everything that black people <laughs> oh, yeah. cry right about, about and, 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 and are upset about. Is public knowledge in this country. Well, you know, and there's nothing we can do to stop it. That is the problem. Well, you got some problems with a democracy, man. Yeah. I mean, politics and democracy. I mean, hey, man, let's just be, let's just be, let's just be civilians for a minute. Mm. You got the people that run Ford, GM. Have you seen their salaries? $37 million a year, $32 million a year. Mm. And the President of the United States made, what, 400000 $400,000. Now, do that make sense to you? Not at all. So, so obviously, politics is crooked. Right. right. When, a man, when a man want a job making $400,000, right. and the, the President of GM make $37, $38 million you a year. You would think I would want to aspire to be that guy. You got the same problem. You got the same problem when the policeman who makes thirty thousand dollars a year pulls me over. Right, but, but get what happened? Them politicians. You gonna you gonna give him some money? He be like, I, I got some money no, for you. I'm but, just saying, but, you got a different. He got the authority, right. but you want a guy making thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars a year to to bring in this dope boy, right? Making million dollars a week, right? Yeah. You want you gonna send a man? Mm. Right. Making fifty thousand dollars a year, right? Or sixty thousand, five thousand dollars. Right. You gonna send him to bring in a dope boy right. who make that in a day possibly? Right. right. Come on, man. Or at least half of it, close There's to something wrong with the system, bro. Yeah. Yeah. But guess what? Now, if I get in there as that politician, and these lobbyists come at me, and I start passing all these reforms and and giving 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 permits to people to build on places that have been turned down for years. You don't get in there for the salary you get. You get in there for the kickback. They all do it. That's why yeah. I don't know why they're raising so much hell about the uh, congressman. What's the boy? He in hot water now because somebody gave him a Benz and some um, cash and some gold. Oh, my God. Well, so oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Melendez in New York. Melendez. Yeah. yeah. So that's what the whole, that's what politics that's it. in America, that's, that's what it's you about. That's what yeah, but James supposed to let the world what know the hell you doing you want it? a job paying 400000 and and to get the job, if you got it, and most of them do, you got to invest millions of your own dollars to yep. get a job. Get a, get a Just job. to get it. Right. You know it's some cricket shit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. You know. I'm I'm paying money to get but hired the to work for less. The kickbacks. The kickbacks. Are the perks. And then that's the all the perks. perks. Hey, you know you know what they call that? Guess they call what? that the quid pro quo. Yeah. That same bitch yeah. you were talking about that's making all the millions of dollars. Now they put me on the board. Yeah, right. on the boat. I get a salary for being and on don't, the boat. And don't do shit. Don't do nothing. Don't have I ain't get a salary and don't do shit. Definitely but about power. But when I see that come in front of me, I check yes. That's all I got to do. That's it. That is. Mm -hmm. yeah. God bless America. Mm -hmm. God bless McCarthy. Poe po, po fellow. My daddy would say Poe fellow. <laughs> I mean, at least he's still in the Senate, though. I don't feel though. sorry for him. I don't feel sorry for him either. Wait for a damn. Right. I mean, he was just always just a punk to me. Just, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't feel sorry for no politician. I was gonna say, I, I, you know, when you choose that, when you choose that field of work, I mean, you know what comes along with it, and there'll be some that are at least halfway try to do something, but then the rest, this is all about for self. And right now, it just seems like everything we got up there on the hill. I ain't gonna say I don't like no politician, but but it seems like they few. all out for self. It's like everyone yeah. they got on the hill. It seems like Lewis, unfortunately. And believe it or not, McCain, you know, when he did the thumbs down, them dudes seemed like they was the only last legitimate ones left. Yeah, McCain, I know McCain, you know, I ain't agree with Pakistan, but he's still for something. Yeah. This yeah, boy, uh, uh, Congressman now, uh, he's a Republican, but he 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 be speaking his mind. Uh, what's his name? 
Kingman, Kingman, Kenchman, Congressman, uh, I don't know all, all the Republicans mad at him because he said Trump full of shit. See, that's what I'm saying. Like they just got, they just locked in horn. I, man, they are just so locked in horns in with Trump. I just ain't man, never seen them. They like know it. that the American society is so messed up. They will vote for Trump to give it even more messed up because he's gonna give them what they want, and they're gonna still be over to. Well, I think it's deeper than that, bro. And as you mentioned earlier about the uh, comment the white man said to you, yeah. I think it's race baited. It is. I think Trump knows that. Uh, whether he whether he is actually racist or not, or just playing that game, because he knows right. that half of America is. Right. And I think he's baiting them. Mm -hmm. And I've said it before: there is no super glue stronger than racism. There's nothing. Very seldom do you see two races arguing about anything. Right. right. And I think that's his whole that's his whole scheme of things. All day or all about it. He's, count, in the he's, road. Count, he's counting on what he knows. Yeah. That more than half of America he's is racist. Yeah. And so you're saying because mainly he feels the he lost primarily because of that last time. All that he's got to do is just trim the fat of it off a little bit, and that'll hey, get back in. Well, you, then you go all the way. You got, a few, you got a few clowns out there. You know, it's, now, a, it's now, a black now, white, boy, blacks for Trump. They just let his ass out now, the other now, day. They locked yeah. that nigga White up. folks want to start <laughs> shooting people. They tell the security to shoot people that's looted, right? Yeah. But in, you in let, the malls and everything. Yeah. But white people are the biggest hypocrites in the world. They been, they looted. Oh, well, I don't, don't want to generalize it that much. Well, yeah, yeah, they, they have been. But a lot of them. A lot of them. But a lot of them. But a lot of them. So they've looted. Now you're talking about thefts in the in, in in the stores. It's written down, it's documented that white people commit most most thefts in the store. Shoplifting. Yeah. Shoplifting. Yeah. They commit they, they get more uh section eight than black folks. They get more food steps than black folks. Everything that they fighting against us got they taking advantage of mm -hmm. every day. Right. Yeah. That's Every day, they got, the, right. they got the microscope on us. Not yeah, on right. Yeah, it ain't it ain't fair, but mm -hmm. I, I don't I don't want to uh, in general demonize hey, oh white folks. I'm not demonizing, but I'm just saying that everything that they demonize us about, they benefit from. Yeah, right. So like, when it brings us up in I the mean, news, you know what? We're terrible people. Now look, on top of that, right now you have a, a flux of European Americans coming into into this country that are getting. Social Security, they're getting uh, food stamps, TAMP, they're getting uh, housing, and they're throwing veterans on the street to replace them with European, that will eventually be European Americans. All right, all right. That's enough of this and white people. We'll be back. We're going to talk about Terrell Owens and what he said about his, his <laughs> yeah. love for white women. And Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs>